So as we draw to the close of the 50th CAS, here are some of the key takeaways. One of the things that stands out to me is that we're no longer segmenting industry by industry. It feels like we're seeing lots of blended products, products that have IoT involved in them, products that have robotics in them, products that use different technology, maybe combined with 3D printing as an enabling technology, maybe using some some degree of augmented reality. Artificial intelligence is a big deal this year at CES and ambient AI is the key to that. The idea that you can provide voice commands to products around your house just by speaking, not by speaking to a particular unit or anything. The uh, adoption of Alexa and Google Home have really kicked the smart home forward and we're starting to see a lots of smart home products use that platform. Key to all this working is data. Data is the new rocket fuel. Data is the lubricant, the oil that makes all these different processes work. No longer is it significant to have the best product, the best service. You need to have the best data as well. We heard from the CEO of Carnival Cruising, who talked about their new product for cruise liners, which really puts the customer at the center of everything we do. That personalization at scale is becoming a key driver in the use of products like AI in the consumer market. As always, applications are the key. We've lots of developments in robotics, lots of developments in 3D printing, but they really need to have good, strong applications. We see applications in the medical sector, we see applications in the industrial sector, and these are the things that will drive the adoptions of those, those technologies. Robotics becoming less like small droids that just walk around, but finding their way into different technologies. I looked at a robotic parasol today that follows and tracks the sun and has lots of other features. But as always at CES, innovation really is the star. Bundles of innovation this year. Go to Eureka Park, there are 600 companies, all with new innovations, all with new products that they're bringing to market. And really from a manufacturing point of view, a lot of those products are hardware. A lot of those products need manufacturing, they need a supply chain building out. I'm Philip Stoughton bringing you the scoop from CES. Thank you for watching.